Hi everyone, it's Dr. Crad. Did your vision first improve after cataract surgery and then get worse again? If so, you may have developed a PCO or posterior capsular opacification. With every cataract surgery, the goal is to remove your cloudy natural lens and replace it with a clear artificial lens. This clear artificial lens will scar into place. We want that to happen since we don't want your new clear artificial lens to ever move. Your lens implant needs to be stable in the eye forever. The way we achieve this is by placing the clear artificial lens inside the membranous housing of your previous lens, the cataract. A little bit of scarring is great for lens stability. However, if too much scarring forms, it can cloud or blur your vision. PCO is actually lens epithelial cells proliferating on the capsular surface, but for the sake of simpler communication, I often refer to this PCO to patients as scar tissue. When I'm assessing someone's scar tissue or PCO, I assess its severity on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the worst. I use a 0 to 10 scale with patients because it's easier to understand instead of the 0 to 4 scale that ophthalmologists often use amongst each other. On the scale of 0 to 10, if it is 2 or less, I generally leave it alone. If it's 3 or more and therefore likely affecting the patient's vision, then I consider clearing it with a YAG laser. However, I only treat it if the patient is symptomatic. This procedure is performed in the office and requires some fancy laser equipment. There are many different types available. Here are a couple different ones. Your doctor may or may not use a lens to put on your eye for eye stability and to improve the transmission of the laser energy. The treatment usually only takes about 30 to 60 seconds to perform. The goal is to clear a patient's line of sight from any opacified membrane. Since the peripheral part of the lens implant has already scarred into place, this central 3 to 4 millimeters of tissue is not required for lens stability. It can be completely removed or pushed aside with the YAG laser, thereby improving a patient's vision without compromising lens stability. This treatment is extremely effective and safe, and the vast majority of patients experience improved vision within a day or so after having the treatment. Here is a patient where the cloudy lens epithelial cells grew over the posterior capsule and then liquefied to a milky fluid. In this condition, called posterior capsule block, the milky fluid is trapped between the lens implant and the posterior capsule. With this posterior capsule block, the patient can't see well anymore. And with a simple shot of the laser, the milk evacuates and the patient can see well again. Most people who undergo YAG capsulotomy for PCO see better afterwards. However, it's only recommended if the primary cause of the patient's cloudy or blurry vision is the PCO. There are no restrictions of activity after this treatment. Your eyes will likely remain dilated for a few hours, so you might want to wear sunglasses. And you may notice a transient increase in floaters for a few days. But in most cases, those return back to a patient's baseline level of floaters. YAG capsulotomy will not benefit a patient if the primary cause of blurry vision is a retinal issue, dry eyes, or the wrong lens implant technology. And like all procedures, YAG capsulotomy is not without risks. Although rare, an over-aggressive treatment can cause lens dislocation, missing the target can cause lens pitting. In some cases, rippling of fluid or fluid shifts can cause swelling of the retina or even worse, retinal tears or detachment. Also, once the posterior capsule is opened with the YAG laser, the process of lens exchange becomes more complicated. I hope you found this video helpful. I appreciate your attention. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.